What's going on guys? World Stalker here. Thanks for joining me. Um, I just wanted to give a little bit of a history lesson and then because I know like me some of you guys get into numismatics coins and notes for uh, for the history so this is some that a lot of you haven't heard of and I think is really interesting I, I kind of touched on this in a di another video but I'm gonna go I'm gonna read some stuff for you guys so as you see here this is the Philippines notes made in the Culeon leper colony this one happens to be 1942 all three of these notes are 1942 um, so a little bit of the history in the, in the Philippines at the time the Philippines was a US territory kind of like America Samoa and Puerto Rico and Guam are now and there was back then there was no cure for leprosy so uh, the US set up a colony to try to segregate anybody with leprosy and maybe maybe die it out slowly so at first let me let me show you the coins at first uh, only coins were made and as you can see, uh, they made these little cool, uh, at first they were aluminum coins and it started in 1913. So this one happens to be the first year. It's pretty cool. I would definitely buy this actually. Uh, 1913 MS-61, pretty rare. This one must be aluminum. Later they made some tin and uh, I think copper or something. But cool little coins. Just for the leopard holiday so that money wouldn't leave um, but eventually during the war the Japanese invasion uh, they made they started making uh, the paper money the kind of uh, emergency money just like they did in colonies all over the Philippines or guerrilla groups uh, I'll, I'll make videos about those emergency money later but as you can see here they started making notes for the war, during the war. So I have a one centavo, just perfect condition. I, I had to take it out of the plastic for this video, but this one is five pesos. It's not perfect condition, but still a great part of my collection. And then I got a five centavo. And I, I actually have the whole set, but this is the three that I have with me here I'm uh, I'm actually in the Philippines so you guys you guys are probably gonna start seeing more and more uh, Philippine currency videos because there's actually a lot of collectors there's a lot of interest in numismatics here in Philippines um, so it's easy to find Thailand nobody cared I couldn't find a coin shop to save my life and there wasn't a lot of variety but here in Philippines there's a lot of collectors and they really like to talk to talk to other collectors so yeah as you can see these are worth quite a bit they're about 40 to 50 dollars a piece and uh, there's a few air notes out there for you got for you numismatics out there there's there's some air notes and I'd love to get all of them and I, I probably will while I'm here if I can find them all uh, but back back to the history before before I go on I want to show you this uh, exactly where Kulion is. I mean, it's still there, but in 2006, the World Health Organization declared Kulion uh, leprosy free. So they're kind of just trying to turn it into a, a tourist site or island, you know, trying to get some economy in there. And they are trying to make it a uh, World Heritage Site, but that's probably many years down the road. But, so here, is, is as you can see here's Manila here's Cebu two major airports here's where I am right now at the moment all the way down here in Negros Oriental and then here's Siquijor where I'm getting married soon beautiful remote island and then Culeon 
it is way up here in Palawan. So you got El Nido, everybody's heard of El Nido, and you got Coron where all the shipwrecks from World War II are, and it's good for diving. But then right here you got Kulion Island. It's just very remote, very remote, hard to get to. You'd have to fly from Manila to to Coron, and from Coron maybe a two or three hour boat ride if the sea is if the sea is good, and then you can get to Kulion uh, and check out. They have a museum and stuff there, but it, it was some bad times there. I'd like to read you a little bit of the history. Um, basically, the U.S. set it up. And it was a little bit controversial because, uh, I mean, they were forcing people to move there without their families. And it got, it, you know, represent, representatives would go to, call, uh, you know, province to province seeking out people with leprosy and putting them on boats. And every three months, another, a few ships would arrive back in Kulion full of lepers. So... Let me read this. By Act of 1711 of the Philippines Commission, passed November 12, 2007, Victor Heiser was given full responsibility for the segregation program. Heiser was given the responsibility of locating, segregating, and moving any known person afflicted with leprosy in the Philippines to Culion. His plan was to remove patients first from well isolated islands with few infected people so that the spread of disease can, could be prevented where it was not firmly entrenched. The segregation system initially received resistance from Filipinos with leprosy in an attempt to popularize the island so that patients went there willingly. Heiser sent agents to Filipino towns to disseminate information about housing, type of food, and the residents eat and the medical facilities available. Nevertheless, the island's inhabitants made great effort to invade the segregation program. The public would also tip off the authorities about people who were possibly infected. Uh, many F Filipinos in acts of revenge would anonymously, anonymously notify authorities of a purported case of leprosy and hope to having them removed from their island. Even politicians using leprosy negatively, uh, leprosy's negative public image would anonymously report their public, their political foes, family members as carriers of leprosy for their own political game. <laughs> yeah, the Filipinos have been kicked around a lot in history. The good news that came out of this is, Kulan kind of became the hub of leprosy medicine and research and in the 80s hundreds and hundreds of scientists and doctors and chemists and whatever uh, conversed on Kulion and used Kulion and the residents as test subjects and they did because of that they did finally develop a like a multi-medicine uh, cure for leprosy there was no there was no big community like the Philippines of lepers so I think you could probably I'm not a historian but you could probably contribute the cure for leprosy to Philippines so that's cool that's a little bit of history uh, like I said they made these cool notes that could only be used it was illegal to take off the island and um, they're 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 getting more and more rare especially in this condition and you know they're a good investment i got these ones for pretty cheap and they're already 40 to 50 dollars each on ebay maybe i'll get them graded by pcgs and you know that'll keep them safe for a long time uh but let me look at this another uh wikipedia um thing in case in case this really interests you if you're like me and you really like collections like this um there's more than just the Philippines. The Philippines is the most, probably the easiest to get all the banknotes and coins. But check this out. They actually made, uh, I don't, some of these are gonna be impossible to find. 
Um, I looked up what other leper colonies there were in the world that created their own currency. Because I, I figured that couldn't be the only one that doctors didn't know how it was spread so that they, I was sure they segregated other people and made their own money as well. And sure enough, so money, here we go. Uh, in between 1919 and 1952, special coins were used in the Panama Canal Zone leper colony called Palo Seco Colony. One cent, five cent, ten cent, twenty-five cent, fifty cent, and one dollar coins were made in the U.S. with one hole in the coin. So, you guys, if you could find those Panama Canal Zone ones, let me know. There's definitely none on eBay at the moment. Uh, the first special money used in Colombia called Agua de Dios, Cano de Loro, and Contras Trash. Contratation. <laughs> uh, five denominations were used. Blah, blah, blah. Republica de Colombia 1901 was engraved. These coins were issued after the first leprosy congress in Berlin in 1897. And I've actually seen one of these on eBay. So if you guys find leprosy coins from Colombia, let me know. If I can afford them, I'd love, I'd, I would love, it'd be cool to put a lot of these sets together as, um, as much as I can. Let's see, Japan, 1919, special coins were made in Tama Zinsuin Sanatorium, and later in the sanatoriums of Japan, it's characteristic of the special money that Japan, uh, of Japan that, Coins, in some cases, money in paper or plastic were issued by sanatoriums and not by the government. However, patients like banknotes are coins of the Japanese bank. Uh, when patients were hospitalized, their money was changed for special money so that this system was used also for strengthening the segregation. In some sanatoriums, special money was served as allowances for poor patients. By 55, the system had been discontinued in Japan. That's pretty cool. So, I would love to find some of these bank coin, or not bank coins, but coins created by the actual leprosy hospital, just for them. That 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 would be very collectible. Malaysia, 1936, five cent, ten cent, one dollar notes. Oh, uh, so Malaysia actually made notes as well. That's the only other one I could find that made notes. Uh, were issued in the Sungay Below settlement in Malaysia, printed in four languages. Director sent the special banknotes for examination, and it was proven that banknotes do not carry leprosy. All special banknotes were burned in a bonfire in the country in 1938. Ah, oh, that sucks. If any of these survived, you guys let me know. 1936 uh, and later. Malaysia, Sengai, Bulo, Leprosy, Notes, and Coins. That would be an amazing find. Other countries. Brazil, China, Costa Rica, Korea, Nigeria, Thailand, and Venezuela. So, the, they say these leper colonies also have the money has been known to exist, so... If you guys see any of them, the only one I've ever seen on eBay or online besides Philippines is one or two Colombias. So that that would be amazing. I would love to put I would love to start putting collections together, huh? What about you guys? All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you're a history buff or this stuff just really interests you, like it does me, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description. It's an affiliate link and for Amazon, and it's a book about the Kulian leper colony. Uh, it's about this. It's from this guy that he fell in love with this girl. She turned out to have leprosy and went to the island. And this guy went back to the U.S. But later, years later, found out he also got leprosy. So he did like a self exile to the leper colony, and he spent the next twenty five years in the Kulian leper colony. So. It's a kind of his account of what happened, and he got cured and wrote this book. So I highly recommend this read. 
Uh, so the link is in the description if you're interested. And let me know if you guys like this kind of video. I can make some more. Uh, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Because now, you know the rest of the story.